It's 2014. Your Nexus is running Android KitKat, and things are good. Maybe as good as they're ever going to be. Because you don't know it then, but you are in the golden age of Android. The first reason why I think Android peaked in the early mid-2010s is because of Android KitKat, one of my favorite versions of the operating system. Android KitKat had the more 3D and texture design of Android Hollow, yet it was at the stage where it felt like the software was finally perfected. I love KitKat because it's simple and utilitarian, yet still aesthetic and pleasant. It had the charm of Android Hollow while reducing its antiquity. It lost the clunkiness of previous versions, yet it still felt like it had a soul. For these reasons, Android KitKat struck perhaps the most perfect design balance that the operating system has ever seen, because it offers the classic and beloved Android Hollow experience in the most functional and polished way, all while retaining a good amount of the charm that existed in previous versions of the operating system. So on one end of the spectrum, we have older versions of Android, with skeuomorphism, details, dimension, and shadows and textures galore. The upside is the charm and interest, the downside is the clunkiness, outdatedness, and at times, slightly jarring UI aspects with its over-stylized techno design. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Android 12 with its new material U design. Things are flattened and simplified into oblivion, icons are stripped of their charm and depth, and textures are pretty much non-existent. The upside? Nothing really. In fact, I actually think that the software's functionality took a hit with Android 12. But somewhere in the middle, we have Android KitKat. Full of classic Android's depth and detail, yet fluid, polished, and doesn't feel antiquated or tacky. It offers the best of the hollow experience without all of its downfalls. On the grand scale of functionality and UI design, Android KitKat hits the sweet spot, and it's a huge reason for why I think early mid-2010's Android is so legendary. It's no secret that the Android user experience varies widely depending on the phone model, company, and software skin that it's installed with. And it's also no secret that the now discontinued Nexus phones did arguably the best job of delivering this experience. These phones offered good quality hardware, solid specs, and the coveted stock Android experience. And it's not just Nexus phones that were better back then too. LG phones, which are also now out of production, were ahead of their time and some of the best in the market. Many phones in the early 2010s also had such interesting builds, with different shaped chassis, different coat materials, textures, and colors, and tons of other fun and cool hardware design features that just don't appear on newer phone models, which all seem to look like clones of each other. Many of these older phones also included the iconic physical navigation buttons, which I'm a big fan of, and it's disappointing that they're pretty much impossible to find nowadays. With that, I'm regretful to say that this golden bubble of smartphone hardware found in the early 2010s is long over. And with Nexus phones discontinued since 2016, there really hasn't been a parallel to the way these devices offered the Android experience either. One might argue that the Pixel is basically the Nexus successor, and in a way, that's true. But in the context of its time, Nexus's Nexi were considered to be more premium phones in relation to their existing market, with good specs and high quality builds whereas Pixels, although decent phones, are considered to be more mid-range products in relation to their current market. At least up until the Pixel 6, which did ramp things up. But again, I just don't like the physical designs of these newer phones as much as their Nexus predecessors. Just like the newer software, the hardware of these devices also seems to be lacking that indescribable essence of character and soul that was present in older Android phones. Speaking of character, the next reason why I'm so fond of old Android is because of the dessert naming scheme it used for the new updates and versions, which is now pretty much out of use. From Android Cupcake, to Donut, to Eclair, Froyo, Gingerbread, Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, and more, the Android dessert naming scheme was a big part of the operating system's identity. The logos were charming and full of character, and there was something just so exciting about the new desserts and what the new update's artwork was going to be. The Android mascots, Bug Droids, also seemed to be a much bigger part of the company back then too. Bug Droids were much more involved with the marketing, promotion, and overall identity of the OS, and these little guys made Android feel so much more fun and cute. But the release of Android 10, which was the first update to not use the dessert naming scheme, coincided with the dwindling use of the cute and iconic mascot. To me, this year marked the final nail in the coffin regarding the death of Android's soul and character. The dessert naming scheme combined with the iconic and cute bug droids was just a really fun way of doing things, and I think it's sad that the company moved away from that. The last reason for why I think old Android can't be beat is because it treated its user base like adults. In its earlier years, Android knew who their base was and catered to them, creating Android to be a customizable and efficient yet charming OS. Compare that to Android 12, where the software almost feels childish and condescending. 
See, many people who use Android are more in the techie side of things and know what they're doing. Older versions of the OS seem to honor this, treating its user base like the enthusiasts they were, with a mature and tasteful, yet still charming and soulful software. Recently, however, Android seems to be drifting away from its former self with its newer releases. In my opinion, Android 12 is kitschy, a bit obnoxious, and maybe even a little insulting to the people that stuck with Android because it treated them like capable adults. Now, I don't want to dig on the graphic designers because obviously they've done a good job achieving the style that they aimed for. I just don't like that style, and I don't think it's fitting for the brand or operating system. But to be honest, I haven't loved the direction Android's been going in since the late 2010s. It seems to have moved so far away from its roots that it's almost an unrecognizable software and company to the one it was not even a decade ago. I miss the old Android, the early 2010s Android, where they respected their users' intelligence and built their software accordingly. I miss Nexus. I miss the fun and unique phone hardware. I miss KitKat with its pointed corners, drop shadows, textures, and depth. I miss the dessert naming scheme. I miss Bugdroid. I miss Roboto. Yes, I miss a font. I miss the old icons that weren't all a bunch of colorful shapes and software that wasn't a dumbed-down mishmash of woke corporate minimalism. And, most of all, I miss Android.